call to order at 5.09. Oh, happily so. And we have camera a rolling and we are being recorded. So we have no uh, no guests today, no members of the public, so uh, do you have the agenda? Yeah, sorry. You know, I knew something was wrong reading this, isn't it? And because this is the minute. <laughs> yeah. Then again, I always have to use it. Okay. As there is no public comment. Um, I suppose we should introduce ourselves just for the sake of the, the, the video identification. Anyone who might watch it after the fact, I'm Chris Palanis, chair for one more meeting. Judy Kimberly, secretary for one more meeting. City <laughs> Councilor Mary Ann LaBarge. Jean Page, member. Emma Cornwall, member for USBurg, ADA coordinator for Northampton. Good. So um, we have the, the minutes from the last meeting. If you've had a chance to take a look at them quickly, the chair will entertain a motion to approve the minutes. So moved. Second. All in favor. Aye. Next, we have the discussion of Northampton ADA priority findings and recommendations. Now, I'm going back to the, to the minutes. Pardon me. <laughs> Agenda item. We have a new member who is not uh, present today, so we can um, hold the introduction of the, the newly appointed mentor. What, what's the name of our new member? I can't remember. I mean, we did so many then. Oh my god, we had you on video with a lapse in your memory. Oh, oh I know. Goodness. Something. Well, we shall meet our new member hopefully perhaps later today um, or at, at the next meeting. Um, so we, we don't have an email address, is that part of it? I that? didn't have an email address um, and I can track that down. If there is one was given, then I will. There is an email. Yeah, okay, I will get that. Very good, so let's proceed. I'm just wondering if she got sworn in now. Oh, um, yeah, that may, yeah, that may be. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's a woman and we don't know her name. I do have her name, Next. I just don't know her name. Next meeting. Okay. All right, our next item is the election of officers. The officers are chair, uh, vice chair, and secretary um, of the of the commission. Um, we have a I suppose we, we open the floor for nominations. Let's begin with the chair. Yes, yes. I would like to um, open the floor on nominating Jean Page for chair of the Commission on Disabilities. Second. Okay. Any other nominations? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Jean, you've got it. <laughs> the gentleman. Thank you so much. With the musical voice from North mm -hmm. Carolina. North Carolina. <laughs> Hope I can do next year a third of the job of Chris's job this year. Oh my God. That's going to take us 10 years. Catch up on this stuff. Chris has given us so much guidance and direction this past couple of years. We, 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 uh, in this in this class was a good place because of Chris's uh, mission and his uh, his advice and counsel. And I know he's going to write his book, but I do hope he'll come back from time to time to give us some guidance. And oh, well, out. I will continue to be a member. Hell yes. By all means. I want you to be a good member, but, but to know we we, we won't be able, we, we can't get along without you. 
and I'll see you at the next Patriots. It's going to be a Sunday afternoon. Thank you, Chief. Appreciate it. It has been, it's been a good time and an interesting time. And there are some things for us for um, finish. We'll talk about that later. But our, our next is for uh, Vice Chair of the, of the Commission. Nominations are open. I would like to nominate uh, Councilor Marianne Babar. She's Second. Vice Chair. Second. Any other nominations? All in favor? Uh, Aye. Acclamation. Yes. I want to thank everybody. And I thank both you and I. We will be just fine. And yes, we still have Chris with us and Judith, and he will guide us. And I, I have to say again, Chris, thank you. I always will say that for when I asked you to please come on the Commission on Disabilities, that I needed you to help us open the doors and move forward. And you have done that. And I thank you. Thank you, Mary. Now the thornier part of the process, the distinguished but underappreciated role of the secretary. <laughs> I want you to know our, our, our it's our group movement at this point to yeah. figure out how we're meandering through this next chapter. So. And, and Judy has been an officer in the show for two years. Yes, I have been a nomination open for the secretary. I would like to nominate Anna for secretary, if she would like. I am so honored by that, but um, I, I don't think that I can take that on. And of course, So we are in the position of not having that the secretary's position is going to happen. It is going to have to be open temporarily. And then how do we handle that? And then we can have the, uh, what I strongly wanted to suggest, you talked about the senior employment program. Yeah. Yeah. And um, uh, Doug, uh, is, uh, is resting, is that Doug's last name? But I used to say, Mr. So-and-so, it's, uh, that has really been wonderful working with me on the, uh, the self-evaluation update. Um, he's very thorough, terrific note taker. So consideration would be if his role would could continue um, and, and support the commission, I think that would be quite manageable. Right, and also, I mean, we have how many out tonight? Have they called? Um, Leticia did call. I didn't hear from anyone else, though. Okay. Yes. Well, we have Attorney Winston. We have Tisha and Hannah. Hannah has missed many meetings. And we also have a new person coming in. Yeah. And if you look at that resume, okay, that's a possibility. Okay. So let's. So I'd like to pull this over to next month, that position. That's all. Great. Let's hold it, hold it open. And uh, put it on the agenda for next time. Uh, could we, and I, I could we entice someone who's now secretary to continue at least one more month until we can find somebody? You could send the minutes to me. Yeah. Really, you can send you can send the minutes to me. Yeah. 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 You can send them. You can send <coughs> minutes from this meeting to me, and then next meeting maybe we can first thing yeah. ask if there's anyone who will. All right, and I will do it for one more, more month, you, which means two, because I'm doing it today and I'll be doing it next week. And hopefully we will find someone who wants to be secretary, because I have only been an officer since I've been a member, and I would mm -hmm. like to just be a commissioner. Sure. I mean, as a city councilor, I did it for how many years? I'm a city services. I'm a village white service. No more. Mm -hmm. I mean, between trying to hear people speak, being in the chair and so forth. It's very difficult. Yeah. Yeah, it takes different parts of the brain. Mm -hmm. Not 
unless if we can't get anybody, we're looking at an alternative that Chris is talking about that could be an intern that we can look at. find some way to cover the formal office. So that will close our election of officers for today and we will uh, reopen election with the secretary next month. Our next item is the self-evaluation update and comments on, on draft priorities. I've been working and working away at this with, with help from Douglas, as I said. Um, and it's frustrating to me how long it's taken it. I think with you taking the chair of the commission, it's going to be, I, I hope, over this next month to have it, uh, have it finished up. I've been a little bit slowed up in the past two weeks. I've, I've been using this loaner chair, which makes it just working on the computer has been an irritating experience. But um, we have very close to a hundred pages of appendices. The appendices being the summary access survey, um, the summaries of the work done by um, by uh, our, our three consultants, Jacqueline Bergen and Melissa Marshall, um, and Rob Evely on information technology. Um, and we're also putting in the appendices the 1995 plan, which is our outstanding document tracing uh, backwards done. One observation I want to make, uh, the more I dig around in this, there are points to be made, but, but one is that our record really goes from 1995 to today. What was identified in the early 90s when the ADA had just been passed. And there's been certainly some progress on that. City Hall was not at all accessible um, at the time. And, there were certainly other conditions that have changed, but the one thing I will make a point of in the report is that the antecedent to the ADA and Section 504 of the Rehabilitation Act, those regulations had come out in 1997. Um, um, and so when the city took a look in 1995, um, while it wasn't stated explicitly, um, what was in fact the conditions then was the city was already far behind. Mm -hmm. um, and so some work was done to create a baseline, but we know that, that, it is, that it is a baseline at this point. I've been a little reluctant to overlabor the report. I gave 10 broad recommendations. In reading Melissa's material, I realized that 11 has to be added, that there really needs to be um, a more extensive body of uh, employment policies clearly articulated. And one of the things that Melissa had identified was that while it was understood that there's an obligation to make reasonable job accommodations for, for folks who are employed by the city to perform essential job functions, it was not as clearly understood that accommodations also have to be made for applicants, and they also have to be made for any other conditions or benefits of employment. So um, I think there is there's something to be done there. On the other hand, um, I think the key to this is that the way the federal regulations is written is intimidating because it's as if they were initially written that you do an evaluation and that you're supposed to get most of the policies and procedures in place in one year and then over three years do the structural work. That's the way federal reg regulations are written. They are, um, they provoke anxiety and many of, much of the work is simply not accomplishable within that time frame. Um, and so I think it creates the effect of not realizing what is the key to the whole process, which is continuity. The things keep year after year taking on the next steps. And the glue of continuity is the coordinator's position. And as we know, our number one recommendation is that the coordinator's position has to become workable and structured now. It, it, it is not. So that's the loop, but I think those 10 broad recommendations will become 11 um, and also have more of a, a list of 
um, elements that should go into over time into a transition plan, other structural as well as the procedure elements that. Chris, have, have you heard anything from the mayor in regards to the, the ADA's position? I want to get this as the report and give it to the mayor and our lead will be okay. and at that point um, to open up the discussions with the with the mayor and I, I think you know it's 10 11 recommendations are substantial that conversation has to begin with the issue of the of coordinator I recall didn't he say we did approach him on that and didn't he say well, yes, he was so busy, but he was going to get back on to that. He did say, yes. Essentially, I think that's a good paraphrase of what he did say. Mm -hmm. That there were some issues, you know, pressing and delays and others, but right. now it has to be taken up and it has to be done, done seriously. And I think that's partly the leverage of this, um, this draft report. It's not a final updated self-evaluation and transition plan. We don't have the authority to do that. That has to be done by the mayor and the council. Right. So they have to consider it and, and basically um, not to move forward in some way in making the position workable would be not to execute um, what we will be declaring as a commission. You all will, will read the draft. I hope more closely <laughs> the draft recommendations. But um, when we then uh, approve the draft document and submit it to the mayor, the commission is taking a stand that uh, absent substantially carrying out that that scope of, of work, the city is engaged in and knowledgeably engaged in discriminatory practice. I think it might also um, be a good time for us to do the linkage to the to the uh, the Human Rights Commission is that the proper name yes. for our you know we, we really have so much in common but at the point at which we consider that document to bring in the Human Rights Commission as well I have no question that we're going to have a back and forth with mayor and council on on pacing and what falls within which period that but that is going to be within the context of forward movement the other thing i think is probably also um, a recommendation to be added to this um, is that we would expect a yearly um, report um, from the mayor um, in association with and supported by the ada coordinator but a uh, yearly report basically on the progress and status of, of, of implementing the plan. And I think this is not to say, for Northampton it's been like every other community, which is that um, things don't become institutionalized in a way that they become a regular part of the governance life. You know, this is something new, how do we take on these levels of, of obligation? So I, I think there's an obligation here that we simply need to do better. It's consistent with the law. Um, without doing this, there are, in my mind, clear legal exposures. Um, um, if I were um, an angry advocate from the outside, um, could I pull uh, the city of Northampton um, into court and into a complicated so. cost of legal process? Yes, um, there is no question. So, uh, with that, my apologies for not having made uh, more rapid, uh, rapid progress on it. I, if I am able to, um, to produce the draft uh, before the next meeting, I, it's appropriate, I would assume, I'll submit it to the chair, and um, the officers can then, can then distribute to the commission, and it will be very helpful to have a good reading if I hold up my end of the bargain by the next meeting so that we can resolve to move the conversations with the mayor. All right, so our next um, agenda item is promoting the use of Craig Fight for Disability Rights. This is the short version of Live Worth Living in the Schools. And uh, what I wanted to report is that uh, the gang over at, at Stavros um, 
actually, uh, they invited me to a, a meeting that, that was held over there with the uh, couple of representatives of the Amherst schools. The representatives of the Amherst schools were, were very receptive, um, and their specific recommendation was uh, the way in which this kind of uh, representation of promoting, you know, understanding, awareness, and dialogue around around important issues like disability rights. The best way to do it is to recruit student leadership to be presented. So I think uh, our friends across the river are making some progress. I hope it is one of the things that we can that we can take up um, this year is actually to meet with the school so one of the things that now with the officers uh, switching here i know i believe in our bylaws we have a provision for subcommittee to be appointed um, so the continuing work under the on the ada um, to let's take a look at the bylaws and you can appropriately have, have Judy and, and, uh, and me be an immediate subcommittee to uh, move, this, uh, move this forward. Um, and we'll get Emma to come and visit a little bit more frequently. Hopefully. That's if we get another staff get this members. <laughs> Got to get some members. I also have a one person I'll, I'll talk to you about after the meeting. I don't want to have on video the possibility because I haven't reached out to them yet about possible membership. So do we have any other new business? This is not. November 20th is the Commission on Disabilities, and that's the week of Thanksgiving. That is Thanksgiving week, so. Yes. Is there any way we can move it up? I'm sure we could if we wanted to. You want to move it up a week? Yeah. What's your, what's your, what's, 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 what's the pleasure of the group? What, what's the, I think that would, I think that would be fine. So, we'll entertain a motion that the November meeting be scheduled on the 13th. 13th. Okay. And I, I'll have to move a different group. A group that was scheduled for this room to another room. But that, that should, that should work. Is that it's workable? I think so, yeah. Okay. So I have a motion. No. Any discussion? We're good. The 13th it is. Thank you. Thank you. So, any other new business? Do we still are have our still set at nine members for the commission? We never changed that because with the new person that makes a nine. But we do have someone who just hasn't been coming and it hasn't mm -hmm. it's been not been excused. Uh huh. What did the bylaws say about three unexcused and can be asked? Okay. I mean, if we need another member and that person is not attending. Mm -hmm. it, could, it could be that, um, I don't know what's been done in the past, but sometimes the chair will check in with the member or, or has it been the I have, coordinator? I, I have to which. say that the chair plus our secretary did mention to all the members, okay, three meetings, being absent. Right. Yeah, yeah without, without being excused. Exactly. Just not showing. Sure. Okay. So. So, 
We also have potentially the provision to ask for an increase in the, the numbers of commission members if we have candidates who can take on significant part. I, I'd say let's um, motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. And all in favor.